<laughs> yeah, welcome. Uh, so I am Chase Strait here with Dual Champions, and we have a very special guest, uh, Mike Krahulik from Penny Arcade. How you doing, Mike? Hello, Chase. I'm doing really good. Thank you uh, so much for coming by the uh, coming by the stream today. So you're a yeah. big Dual Champions fan. I am a huge Duel of Champions fan, yes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Mike has been one of our biggest supporters, and of course we had to invite him here. We all woke up one morning and saw uh, tweets, and we just, like, lost our minds that, uh, yeah. that you're supporting the game. So, so now you have to kick my butt in front of a bunch of people? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I was going to pay you back for all of that, uh, that good feeling <laughs> by doing that. Um, so before we get into the game real quick, uh, just something that I wanted to give to you. Uh, we uh, like we had made <laughs> We had made a special... Penny Arcade uh, <laughs> Duel of Champions card and signed by the dev team. Holy so, cow! Yeah, this is wow. Uh, thank you so this much. This is yours to take home. That's awesome. Thank you very much, yeah, man. You're I appreciate very it. You're welcome. So, uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> Super cool. Good stuff. So uh, we don't we don't have a ton of time here on stream. So let's uh, let's throw let's down. Let's go. Let's just play. Yeah. Let's just do this. So it looks like we're gonna go be going Inferno against Inferno. Really? Today. Yeah. May the uh, may the better man win. Uh oh, you're in trouble. I've got an extremely good starting hand. <laughs> I do not. So <laughs> we'll see how this plays out. So um, so the big question that I think a lot of at least a lot of us on the dev team want to know is how did you find out about the game because this was not like a, a PR thing or you know no uh, at least that we know of but it was not a PR thing so I had actually downloaded the Uplay client okay and uh, to grab another game and saw an advertisement for Duel of Champions a free to play card game and uh, it was blown away that I had never heard of it before so I downloaded it. Oh, uh, see, we have a very similar strategy yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> got the maniacs. And I got hooked immediately. Like, I, I don't actually even want to talk about how much money I've spent <laughs> in here. Oh, yeah, well, thank you for that. <laughs> did you, uh, so what, like, at what point did you find yourself, like, hooked on the game? Like, did you start out with the tutorial, or? Uh, you know what, yeah, I read through the entire single-player campaign, and I actually really liked the campaign because the last match in the campaign is really trying to teach you some important things about the game and what... I think makes it different from a lot of other CCGs. And if you don't learn those lessons, it's just going to kick your ass. Yeah. No, it definitely last uh, tutorial mission. Yes. Yeah, that one took me like four or five times to get through. So uh, so to you, so you, you're you a really experienced card player. I mean, this is this is you know what you do. What, uh, what do you find about the game that's different from other games that you're seeing right now? Uh, the thing I like about it is, you know, lane-based lane card games like this are super popular right now. It's, it's, there's, there's quite a few of them. But... The ability to move cards between lanes adds like almost uh, an RTS element, like a tactical element of moving your units around a field yeah. that I really like. And now I need to pay attention because... I know, this was happening to me yesterday where I was like, talking too much <laughs> and then not looking at what was going on and it totally... Uh Totally did not not work out too well for me. So you know we were talking earlier, um, and you had kind of mentioned that that you had some ideas from the game. And you know we're we're a very community oriented game. We uh, we take the feedback that we get from people who play and um, try to incorporate that into the game. What uh, what do you want to see in the in the future of Duel of Champions? Uh, you know the big feature I would actually like. Boy, so if I tell you something, we would actually put it in the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we we just might. We, okay. Or we might be planning on it already. So I spend a lot of money in here on pretend cards. Right. And I would love the ability to use those cards in multiple decks. Yes, so that is um, that is definitely a common thing that we hear and something that's extremely frustrating to us, you know, as players. Yeah. Um, and that is something that we're working on. So okay. that you can you can definitely expect to see that. Um, it turned out to be one of those things that was more difficult to implement than we originally thought. Sure. Um, but it is a very high priority item for us. I mean, you're right, it kind of takes the fun out of deck building a little bit, but... We're going to get there. And also, um, we also have coming to the game that you might be interested in. Uh, you know, as a player, you want to be able to get a single card, right? You know, like, yeah. there's, you know, this this last missing thing that I want to get. And we actually have a solution um, coming to the game for that. Let's see, what are you going to do here? Oh, you're going to start dropping the big guns here. No, oh, but you can't attack that guy. I can't attack that guy. What? <laughs> That's oh, the fear. fear. Ah, <laughs> That's the fear, fear mechanic. All right, I can make this work. So, um, so my understanding is that a lot of the other uh, penny, Ar guy, penny arcade guys have been playing too. Do you guys uh, play at the office? At uh, all? Yeah, I play Kiko a lot. He's one of our graphic designers. Does our T-shirts and stuff like that. A lot of our website design. I don't actually play Tyco at games. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> because we have to work together. So we yeah. have, we have, to, <laughs> we have <laughs> to make comic strips. And <laughs> if I hate him because he beat me or vice versa, then... Yeah, I heard those uh, those battles get a little nasty when yeah. you guys play games against each other. <laughs> or, uh, or at least very happy to uh, to have you here. So what do you see... Um, you know, so Duel Champions is, you know, obviously one of the best card games out there right now. But what do you see as, like, the uh, the future of digital card games? Because it's, it's kind of a big thing right now. There are a lot of people uh, coming to play. There is. God, you beat me fast. Um, now you can still stabilize. I oh, know, but I got that chaos No, you got now. the <laughs> jackass out there. <laughs> that is a vicious card to play. Yeah, the Chaos Imp. Every time, so every time uh, that Mike plays a card, he has to discard a card as well, which is a um, pretty vicious discard strategy. I at least got you down to eight. Yeah. I don't have enough to take you out quite Not yet. Not yet. Uh, the future? Uh, I don't know. I think that you guys are, are deciding what that's going to be. Let's see. Yeah, I certainly hope so. I mean, I think, um, I think that competition is a big thing. You know, we have uh, that road to... We have the Road to Paris going on, um, which is like you know our big like international esports competition right. thing. Uh, and I think that that's going to be a big thing because we haven't you know you see that a lot with Magic right now, but you don't see that with other digital card games like the um, the competitive aspect of it. Uh, is that something that you would be interested in? Absolutely in not. <laughs> no, I am not a competitive player. If you couldn't tell. Uh, I don't know. You're stabilizing pretty well against me here. I, mean, I you're can't. Gonna have to I, drop some cards. I'm, I'm a card short here. <laughs> That's the best I can do. That was a very quick game. Now the the thing I like about it is, it takes advantage of the fact that it's digital, right? So good you end game. up, yeah, very good game. That's yeah, that's what I get for deciding to play one of the developers. <laughs> I think you're still a winner to us. <laughs> yeah, I like that it's it takes advantage of the fact that it's a digital game, right? So you have cards that would just be impossible to keep track of in a, on a table. Absolutely. So cards that affect an entire row, cards that affect an entire lane, um, and then the cards down at the bottom, like, that stuff would just be messy on a table. Right, right. But because it's digital, it works. Like, yeah. Well, I, and you have, and you have like, the, the counter-based mechanics, too, right? Like, all the, the poison and crippling right. and the way, like, the health works in the game. Like, you could never be, keep track of that on yeah. a table. <laughs> yeah. It would be, like, super hard to I play. I also like your pit. So if I win, I buy a bunch of cards. You end up with the cards that you don't want, right? Right. I can feed them to the pit and end up getting gold back. Yeah. So in gold terms and of like, a random card and a random too, card, yeah. yeah. So in terms of one of these free to play games that is asking you to put in money occasionally, like you guys in this, I think do a better job than most of actually letting people play the game and not have to put money in. Yeah. Like I was able to play for a long time before I. You felt broke the, down yeah, and yeah. had to buy a box. Yeah. <laughs> it does. It d that definitely does happen, and that's really nice to hear you say because we, um, you know, it's something that's very important to us. Yeah. You know, a lot of uh, free to play games. It's about trying to put that paywall up. There are no paywalls in the game. Right. You know, it's we just want to build a great community and um, a great product that people can play. So are you guys nice. going to release more single player content? Because that's like for me, that's one of my favorite parts of it. Yeah. So um, that's definitely something that's like on our roadmap that we're okay. thinking about. It. There's some uh, technical restrictions to doing so with sure. AI kind of stuff, but um, but that's definitely something we want to do. Uh, we are releasing a new expansion in the coming you know next like two to three months. Um, with a whole new faction called Academy. We're going to be doing oh, wow. some exclusive card reveals tomorrow on stream okay. here. That'll be pretty exciting. But awesome. Yeah, well, dude, thank you so much for, thank you very uh, for much being for here. destroying me so quickly. Yeah, no. Well, uh, we'll have to throw it down again sometime. I'm we sure will. it won't yes. be... Uh, well, you're on my friends list now, so yeah. you can't escape. I'll see you on. I'll be like, hello, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to play? Yes, always. Thanks for the game. Awesome, yeah. Appreciate thank you so it. much for being here. Ooh, give it up for Mike. <laughs>